Okay. Right. You still got your fancy dagger? Oh my god, he doesn't look well. Yes. Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. Oh, he's got that again, has he? Where did he get his ammunition from? You think you're here of your own accord? Or I'll put a bullet in your head. Don't know that he's that worried, is he? Shoot him. Shoot I'll yourself. Yeah, you know, that might be the grim. What? In his awakening. Ah. Nice jump. Well, maybe not. A bit too soon, eh? Kill the Xenos, burn the heretic. I I think at this point, a bullet through my own brain is going to be the way to save the Earth here. Oh, sorry, Indigo. Thanks for the uh, donation there. I follow your wanderings, your choices, your attempts to free yourself from destiny. As I predicted, you have come to free me. Awaken and call him. Call him? That's not good. Um, yeah, Indigo, some money for that Leviathan, mate. Thanks very much. I shall have a Leviathan takeaway next time I'm dining out. Okay, so we're going to see what's going to happen here. I don't know. This is Coastal Cave. Pierce finally met Leviathan in flesh and blood. The monstrous creature submitted him to a series of ordeals, at the end of which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny. Pierce blew up the whaling station and, after a final confrontation with Leviathan, he passed out. I think that means we've released something horrible. Hmm. Leviathan and chips. Ooh, yeah, could do that. In like a nice, light, crunchy batter. Well, he's a, alive, we think. With mushy peas, has to be. Leviathan chips and peas. <laughs> Where the hell is he? So have I, have I thwarted the cult? Or have I actually released one of the group? One of the old ones. I can't hear the voice anymore. <laughs> mm, I don't have my torch. What the hell is that in the distance? Lighthouse? I have a feeling this is not quite what we think it is. Who's that? There's some strange shit going down here. That leather coat would be like 50 kilos minimum for that long time in the water. The devs didn't think it through. They didn't. They didn't think a lot of things through in this. Do I really want to follow him back down here? You are trapped. Someone's talking to me. Keep going. My God. This way. That sounds a bit like um, Officer Bradley, doesn't it? Stand up. Walk. I'm waiting for Edward Kenway to come and rescue. <laughs> I'm not sure if Kenway is the rescuing type.
Is somebody there? Hey. Is that Charles Hawkins? Who are you? Could be Charles Hawkins, you know. Well, I feel like I'm just a spectator at this point. Where am I? Oh, no, we're back. We have control. We have no lighter. Was this the... No, I don't have time to go back. Okay, we don't I have time go to go to back. Sarah. I guess we just move on. Ah, what is this? The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Right. That makes sense. Leviathan wanted to be found so he can spread his influence and form, or not form, but get some cult followers. And as we all know, gods need followers. Oh, what's this? To our fallen crew members. They have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the Miraculous Catch. It sounds like these people have been, like, survivors for, what did I say, 80 years? Leviathan in beer batter with chips, mushy peas, and a pineapple fritter. I haven't had a pineapple fritter in years. Scylla. It always comes back to the Scylla. It was where it all began. None took it. So this looks like they're just sort of finishing off the final part of the story, as long as I can spot the clues. <laughs> he looks ill. Yep, going slightly mad. And who is that? I still think Cat's gonna. It's Marie Colden. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you've fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. I'm going to go with the uh, investigation. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Okay, I think this is where we start using the uh, sanity requirements. The investigation. I understand. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Yeah, we'll carry on with this. Sarah. Feel her calling me. Let us not wait any longer. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. We've had this bit. No. Please. I can't do it. 
Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. You reckon Edward now regrets taking that investigation job? <laughs> Could be drinking beer and pizza otherwise. It sounds like a far better reality to the one he's sat in here. Shut up! <laughs> it worked. dead there's nothing you can do just give in pick up that rock and thump her with it what the hell was that okay what have I seen what happened hang on Sarah I must go to Sarah was that a she is dream the oracle. she will know what to do we kill them all, I think. Kill them all. I think that's the answer. Don't really want to look at that again. Is this is this where we go? I'm guessing we go downwards. Okay, let's go for it. I know the limp is atmospheric, but I'd rather just be able to sprint down the corridor if there's going to be Nothing else to do and look at. So I wonder what the game is going to give me as a choice. It said all the decisions I've made are sort of led to... I wonder how much of it was that and whether it's all... Uh, whether it was all set to get to... A certain point and then you get to make some decisions later at the end because I feel like the first half of this game is all set on rails it's all predetermined you think I should get some fresh air it's like coming out of a nightclub at 3 a.m. <laughs> I haven't done that in a little while chapter 14 Alabaster Point after a final confrontation Pierce must go to Alabaster Point where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him there he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. What decision will it be? On the one hand, Microsoft. On the other hand, Apple. Which is truth and which is the dark path. I see nothing to do. It just seems to be hurrying me towards inevitable doom, I think. Aha! Ah. We've got some sort of summoning circle up there. Reality as you know it stops here. None of this makes sense. Go! Choose Linux. Linux is the dagger with the elder sign on it. <laughs> Well, they've, what have they done to me? they've made a very nice um, causeway up here, I must say. Come on. Oh. Ah, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller, you died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. 
To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Okay. <laughs> you know what? We might be left wondering at the end of this which bits were real, which bits were dream, which bits were... Well, I don't know. Let's see what the ending has in store for us. You barely stand up, and yet... Here you are. You never give up. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, uh, detective. Oh, nice move. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. I don't like those squelchy noises. Call you a therapist. <laughs> we could do with a therapist. Oh, good night, Spax. Um, you got a very early start tomorrow. Okay, I don't envy you that. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. And I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully when you don't have such an early start. But uh, yeah, nice to see you. Can we see anything out to sea, by the way? Like the great shape of... Something in the clouds? And who is this? Charles Hawkins? I believe it is. Everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You forsook your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak. Of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life. To the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her? Oh, dating? I get it now. It's all jealousy. It's all jealousy, folks. Sarah was dreaming about another man, and it wasn't old tentacle face there. It's me. Open your eyes. You are the most important human on Earth. I don't know. I don't know. So you decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. <laughs> if nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. You rejected her half-truths. I think we went along with the half-truths like a sucker. Because at that point, I thought we were still trying to save her or something. Can't investigate these. Okay, well, this has to be the end of the game. The music's getting good. Oh, there is something coming out of there. Is it coming out of the sea or is it coming out of the stars? Can you see the shape forming? That looks. There's a tentacle. Ooh, it looks it looks good, does that? Does it look more as we go up this step? Okay, come on. Come on, up to the top. It's right there. I'm almost there. I kind of feel like I should be doing something. But I can't see anything to do something with. 
<laughs> it's Kenway coming to the rescue. <laughs> okay, I can't go up that one. 